This is the Mormon Mixed Faith Marriage Podcast with Certified Life Coach, Brooke Booth, episode number 109. I was recently interacting in the in a Facebook group spe- specializing in Mormon mixed faith marriages. You've probably heard of them. There's the Mormon mixed faith marriage Facebook group, and there's marriage on a tightrope. I moderate both of them. Um, I moderate the mix, the marriage on a tightrope with a team of moderators that are absolutely amazing. <laughs> there's a very talented group of moderators in that group. Anyway, I was in those groups and there was, I was um, communicating with somebody about their marriage, as one does in these types of groups. We started to talk about the idea of how we make marriage such a high stakes, high pressure, high, um, it's like a hyper-focused, a big deal. And a lot of times that big deal and that hyper-focus and that high stakes focus we put on marriage has consequences. And that's what I want to talk about in the podcast today. And I call it putting marriage on a pedestal. Now I get this is going to be a little controversial, um, but it's an idea that keeps coming up in my client work. So I'm going to put it out there. And if it works for you, great, use it. If it doesn't, just leave it. (laughs) Don't need to worry about it. In our society at large, we definitely put romantic relationships. We put marriage on a pedestal in our society. Putting anything on a pedestal is a bit fraught. Like This is how it plays out. When we put something on a pedestal, we don't give it the option to be real. You put something on a pedestal, this is something I found online, you rob them or it of the great privilege of being taken seriously, of being seen as someone with success, but also failures, strengths, but also weaknesses, being extraordinary, but also ordinary. Our egos want to be idolized, but to be happy, we just need to be seen or just allow it to be real. So this was fascinating to me because when we put marriage on a pedestal, it becomes super serious. Any sort of failure becomes a threat. Any sort of weakness becomes a threat. Any sort of ordinariness becomes a threat to that marriage. We idolize it. We put it on a pedestal. We don't allow our marriages to have failures or weaknesses or be ordinary because that will knock it off the pedestal. And so we try to keep it up on the pedestal because in large part, that's how we've been taught, you know, where we've been taught to keep marriages. And that makes the whole marriage thing pretty stressful. It And it certainly amps up the mixed faith marriage situation very successfully. Cause I would say a mixed faith marriage threatens the position of marriage on its pedestal. That's one of the reasons mixed faith marriages are so scary to so many people. So it threatens the pedestal standing of marriage. You know, if your marriage isn't on that pedestal, it can feel threatened. I know I realize that's a false kind of perception, but nonetheless, it is exactly what we're experiencing. That can cause a lot of stress and create a lot of pressure. And ironically enough, it can be a lot of pressure and a lot of stress to keep that marriage on the pedestal. It can be a lot of pressure and stress to face the reality that your marriage may not be on a pedestal anymore, may not be perfect. Pedestals make everything harder. They create pressure, they create stress, and that pressure and that stress impact on your relationship. When pressure and stress are present, you're emotionally charged, you're emotionally flooded. And what that often means is you're not able to access your executive functioning to the same degree. You're not able to think clearly about what's really going on in your marriage. 
So a lot of times what will happen is when we put marriage on a pedestal, and I'm going to suggest we do this all of the time in our society. I mean, just look at romantic comedies. (laughs) Just look at how marriage is talked about in sacrament meeting talks or general conference talks. We put marriage on a pedestal. And, And when we do that, it sometimes, I'm not saying this is across the board, but it can sometimes really open up this pressure and this stress feeling. And when we're feeling pressure and stress, we do certain things that impact our marriage. We catastrophize, we worry, we perseverate. We do these things that aren't really lovely feeling. So what my suggestion is to my clients and to this person I was interacting with on the Facebook group, So what if we could somehow lower the temperature around our romantic relationships, around marriage? Like when I say lower the temperature, I mean lower the pedestal, lower the the importance, the focus, the hyper-focus, the hyper-importance that we put. I'm not saying these aren't important relationships, but it's the hyper-focus, the hyper-importance that I'm suggesting we lower. We need to take it off a pedestal so we're not so stressed when there are quote unquote imperfections in our marriage, when things don't go according to plan, when this isn't what you signed up for. So we're not then just swept away in catastrophizing or worry or perseverating or whatever it may be for us. And how I suggest doing this is you've got to start looking at your beliefs and ideas around marriage. Do they create a pedestal? Do they allow space for things to be imperfect, ordinary, for failure, for weakness? Look at where your beliefs are making it a problem for you and for your marriage if somebody's having a faith transition or if somebody's not agreeing with somebody else. Like, look at what it means to be a failure or to have a weakness or a problem in your marriage. What are you making that mean? And is that creating pedestal that you're placing your marriage on? Looking at beliefs and ideas around marriage and then changing them as we need to be so that there's not so much stress and pressure. There's not such a high pedestal that we're placing our marriage on can really decrease the stress and pressure we feel in our marriage as things come up, as experiences arrive, as situations need to be dealt with. And if we don't have as much stress and pressure because we're not having such a high stakes, you know, thoughts and beliefs about our marriage, believe it or not, that can keep us in a much better mindset where we can find solutions, where we can see um, potential options, have so much more compassion and understanding because the stress and pressure and the fear of that relationship toppling off the pedestal just isn't happening. So if you think there's a chance that you may be placing your marriage your romantic relationship on a pedestal because you're experiencing a lot of stress and pressure because your mixed faith marriage really did send your marriage into a little bit of a tailspin. These are all signs and symptoms that you may be putting this relationship on a pedestal. I want you to do a couple of things. One is find out why, like what are the thoughts and beliefs creating the pedestal in the first place? What are the thoughts and beliefs around marriage that are making it like super uber important and creating the pedestal? And can you bring those a little bit down, lower the temperature, decrease the stakes, decrease the anxiety producing beliefs around that so that your body and your brain can function differently? so that you can have more access to executive functioning, so that you can approach whatever may be going on in your marriage, which is a little bit more executive functioning and a little bit less stress and pressure. 
I know it's a bit counterintuitive when I'm like, hey, let's decrease the importance of your relationship. What I'm really saying is let's decrease the hyper fixation on relationships generally. And let's create a more healthy view of what relationships can look like and should look like so that when things do happen in your relationship and in your marriage, it doesn't send you spinning off into stress and fear and pressure, which is only going to compound your ability to show up in that relationship with generosity, with grace, with compassion, with your prefrontal cortex online, where you can access it for your own brilliance and your own ideas and tap into your own wisdom. If you'd like to get some extra help with this, I am here to help. This is one of my favorite things to look at carefully with my clients is what are you believing about your marriage or about marriage in general? That's making it easier for you to show up how you want in your marriage. And how are you looking at your marriage and marriage in general? That's making it a lot more difficult for you to show up the way you want to in this mixed faith marriage. And then it's just as simple as turning up the volume on one and turning down the volume on the other. And needless to say, a lot of times when we've got that really high pedestal that we've put marriage on and we put romantic relationship on, um, it's hard to do that <laughs> because it's everything's just so um, fraught and tense and tenuous that, again, we got to bring that down so we can start looking at this situation and what you're facing without the stress and pressure of something toppling off a high pedestal. Okay, if you want some help from a certified life coach who works specifically with Mormons in a mixed faith marriage, go ahead and reach out to me at brookboothcoaching.com and look into what are the options of working with me because this type of work can be game-changing for you and your mixed faith marriage. Wishing you the very best.